Hello, my name is Rachel Kimball and this is my presentation on hidden intellectualism. Um, so this is what a beauty blogger on YouTube might call a chit chat, get ready with me. So I figured I would just do my base and my eyebrows and we would contour together and maybe put an eye on and see how it goes. So um, I'm gonna start pulling things out of some drawers here and let's get started. So how has makeup helped me in my everyday life was, you know, one of the questions that Miss Weigel, Weigel, sorry, um, you know, presented to us. And, you know, I think if I was in any other profession, you know, where I wasn't, you know, constantly working with um, the public, then, you know, I don't know if it would have been helpful. But I know that because I constantly see, you know, people on an everyday basis or I go into people's homes and sell our services, which um, in my paper, I know I had read it out loud the other day in class, but it was about what I do in my everyday life. And I'm a manager at Mary Maids. And one of the responsibilities that I have is sales. Like I would say that first and foremost, you know, sales, like making sure that I've got money coming in for my crew so they can earn a living and so when you go to sales you have to sell yourself and you know you want to make sure that you look nice you look you know presentable you wouldn't want to just show up in any old thing so I try to just look nice every day you know sometimes I come to class really nice so that's kind of an example of the things that I wear, like maybe a dress or a nice outfit or something. So anyway, so I honestly think that if I didn't have a love for makeup or, you know, this art that I wouldn't have um, an understanding of how to properly present myself at a sale. Because if I came in wearing some, you know, just whatever to a sale or jeans or didn't have a lipstick on or something I don't think that I would look appropriate okay so now that my contour is all done I'm gonna do something called baking and what that is is it is gonna reinforce um, the areas that I have contoured so I put it right underneath my contour here and yeah I'm gonna look a little crazy and then I put it underneath my eyes in around my nose And I do that because when I do my eye makeup, um, you, know, you may have a little fallout from the shadow. And also what this will do is brighten certain areas of my face. So yeah, I look a little crazy for a while, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna be playing with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. First, I'm gonna pick up a brush and it's just a little blender brush and it's gonna get mostly into my crease right here. And I'm going to pick up a shade called Gone As Good. So anyone that has this palette at home, um, follow along or whatever. I'm going to do since I have a good amount in my crease is I'm going to pick up another color to kind of blend um, this even more seamlessly into my eye here and this is just an even bigger fluffier blending brush um, so I wanted to do this look today in homage to the holiday season and I'm not a huge fan of red and green I think that's gross so I thought let's do you know blues and stuff so and you're thinking well why not just throw a bunch of blue eyeshadow and call it good well if I did that it wouldn't look very nice you have to have a good base first so the colors make sense so it has a good um, what we call a color story to the eye okay so in my paper which we had read out loud um, we did kind of I did kind of talk about my years of cosmetology so um, when I was 18 which was very long time ago I'm 34 years old I know I've probably said that in class before and I know I kind of make a lot of jokes about my age um, you know just for fun 
So <laughs> um, I am 34. So in, you know, when I was 18, I went to college the first time and I was, um, I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. I, I was a music major. I am a musician at heart um, and for most of my life. Um, and I play the euphonium, which is called, which is a tenor tuba. It's really small and uh, can compare to a tuba anyhow. Um, so, you know, that's what I went to, was going to be. I was going to be a music educator. That's what I wanted to do with my life. Um, and I wasn't very good at music theory class. And that is one of those classes that if you can't pass it, you can't be, um, a music educator or a professional musician so I had to choose something else and I really throughout my whole childhood um, and teenage years loved makeup loved hair um, you know I love playing around and getting in my mom's makeup drawer and I loved learning about colors and how to make it you know make myself look pretty or what have you <laughs> I loved it I thought it was so much fun um, so I, you know, my friend, one of my friends was a cosmetologist. So I said, you know what? I really like that idea. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I did. And for a very long time, I was behind the chair and cut people's hair and colored people's hair, all the good stuff. And then I worked through um, Radkin for a little while and just stuff with them. But I didn't, you know, after doing it for so long and just catering to everybody else, I just really didn't love it anymore. I wanted to do more. I'm gonna just wet my brush with a little bit of water to intensify one of my shimmer shades that I'm gonna place on the lid. I know it looks really crazy and messed up and undone right now, but this is the process. Trust the process. I am going to put that um, against the bottom lash line. Let's go back and forth and create kind of a smoked out bottom lash line. Okay, so I've zoomed back out and I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some blush because now that I've taken, you know, some of the color out of my face, <laughs> I look a little dead. So. Um, and I like my highlighter a little bright because I want people to see me from outer space. Um, and just to have some fun, I will take some glittery fun lipstick and no, I would never wear this to a sale because it's obviously for fun. And this is called Unicorn Tears from Too Faced Cosmetics. And the last but not least, to lock all this in place, I need a little Max Fix Plus. Kind of dry it Okay, down. that is it. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I'm so sorry this is a lot longer than I needed it to be, um, but I hope everyone enjoyed and I hope that everybody has a very Merry Christmas.